far from being the only heads-up display out there, and today we're looking at one of the competitors that might give it a run for its money in the wearable technology market. This is the Vuzix M100 heads-up display, and what you're looking at right now is a wearable computer that runs on Android. So there's an, a TI OMAP 4430 chip in here, which is the same chip that you'll find in Google Glass and um, other tablets that run ice cream sandwiches, such as the Galaxy Tab 2. So if you take a look here, there are a few directional buttons that let you navigate around the device, and this is what lets you scroll through the menu when you're looking at the heads-up display, which is right here. This is basically a tiny display that sits right in the corner of your eye. It doesn't necessarily interrupt your line of vision because the image that you see is just an overlay over uh, the actual real world, so it's not actually interrupting your line of vision. So right in here we have the speaker. This doesn't use bone conduction technology like Google Glass does. There's an actual speaker in there. And this is the headband, which is really adjustable. So. You know, it can fit multiple people, you can make it as tight as you want, or you can make it bigger. And also, the arm over here is pretty customizable, you can make it fit however you want. You can kind of bend it in to really get that display in the corner of your eye, you can move it up. And uh, it fits really well. Uh, also, there's a micro SD card slot down there for uh, extra storage space. So this comes with four gigabytes of onboard storage. Um, Google Glass has a little more, it has 16, but since you get that micro SD card slot, you can really have as much storage as you want. So now we're gonna put it on, and you can see how it fits comfortably, and the display is right up here, and so it's not, it doesn't really feel like it's interrupting my line of vision at all. It's very comfortable, um, I really like the headband form factor. Um, it's a little less intrusive than having it right on your face and on your nose, so you don't have to worry about uncomfortable nose pads or having to adjust it that way. Um, so this isn't on the market yet. It's going to be coming uh, probably in the fall. There's no exact release date yet, but right now it's available for developers for about $1,000. But when this hits the market, you can expect it to be around the same price as a new smartphone, so between $400 and $500.